So my name is Daniel Gu, and I'm the co-founder of Ohola. My name is Allison Shapiro. I'm a stroke survivor, and I've been teaching stroke recovery since 2005. I'm Rita Martin. I had a stroke 19 and a half years ago on June 4th, 1996 in Tibet. I'm Sumastalish and I'm a holistic nurse and integrative practitioner and have been a practitioner of mindfulness for about a decade. And uh, today our topic will be mindfulness. Addison, for someone new to this concept, could you tell us what mindfulness truly is? Mindfulness is both a big topic and a simple topic. I'll try to give a relatively simple explanation. Mindfulness is the practice of paying open-hearted, non-judgmental attention to what is happening right now in this present moment. That's the simple explanation and the practice takes a little bit longer to learn. And, um, what I would like to add is that um, through mindfulness and paying attention to the present moment allows us to clear the cloud of the barrage of thoughts that usually are running through our minds every moment of the day um, and you know, having us worrying about the future and ruminating about the past and just to be completely present to what we really have in reality is the moment of now. And when we're able to do that, it allows us to still our minds and be aware of what really matters. And in doing this, um, practice for, um, for a period of time, we are able to cultivate a natural ability to stay in the moment longer and longer. And again, when we're in the moment, that's where we can accomplish anything, really. It's because that's where life is. It's in the moment. And so we can, um, you know, use this again, to just really um, cultivate our ability to um, take charge of ourselves. And the way this works in stroke recovery is interesting. We've talked in the past about neuroplasticity. Mindfulness helps us stimulate neuroplasticity. Think of it this way. We have a hand, and if, it's in, if the hand is working, the fingers can move. We can make the fingers move. But the movement is not the fingers. It's just something that the fingers do. The mind thinks. But thinking is not the mind. It's just something that the mind does. However, the stories that we think are very compelling. We get really caught up in them. We think about our parents, we think about our children, we think about the person that we just argued with. We think about all these thoughts and we get up, caught up in all these stories. When we practice mindfulness, we learn to recognize that the mind thinks, it's one of the things the mind does. And we also then develop our greater awareness, the awareness that holds thinking, and the awareness that holds sensation, and the awareness that holds the whole of our life. When we expand that awareness, and we practice bringing our attention to this present moment, we then have the information that we need about what's going on with us to work with the neuroplastic changes that are developing. So when we're injured, and we begin to notice those things that are beginning to change in the in injury, we can work with them. That's what the, one of the things that the practice of mindfulness does that helps us with recovery. And there are many others that mindfulness helps us with in the recovery process. So my first 
mindfulness was the solar eclipse in 69. And it was amazing. I was on Chatham Lighthouse Beach and I got a glimpse. And so that's when I started practicing mindfulness. And everything that has been said is, is true. Thank you, Rita. I just have one question. Yes, Tim. You know, when I first got stroke, I was so angry. I never thought walking would be such a challenge, even standing up. And I would be thinking in the past, I was taking the pictures in the mountains because I was an avid photographer belonging to three groups. Why would I have to struggle with walking? I would never even think walking is anything I need to put my thoughts on. But now, it's such a struggle. And at the very beginning, my focus was on the frustration, the anger, the disappointments. And I did not see myself making a lot of progress as I was hoping. Later, especially after coached by you, I started to feel how my body is changing. Every time I was doing the walking, or even resting. I tried to understand different parts of my body, how they start to reconnect, and how they start to unfreeze. And you know what? I feel I'm recovering on a much steadier pace right now. Is that mindfulness? <laughs> 